On the trail radio here, showing you the Baofeng UV-5 series, Baofeng UV-5R, UV-5G, or any other Baofeng that has the same code as this. Now what we're showing today Menu. is option number 26, the offset frequency. Understanding Menu. the offset frequency is actually a little bit easier than you would expect. Every single zero is a part of the frequency. Zero, zero, and then you have the main megahertz right here. So, whenever you have, let's say, 462.550, and you want to access a repeater since this is a GMRS radio, Menu. you will have an offset of 005000. Now, what that means is whenever I transmit, it is going to jump up 5 megahertz. Like so. Now, what that means is it's adding 5 megahertz. Menu. This goes hand in hand with the previous video I made. Go and check that out. But with the shift direction, you're putting the megahertz in a positive direction. That way, whenever I transmit, it's at 467 megahertz and not 457 megahertz. This right here is how you actually access repeaters and you go further. You're no longer talking just two miles away. You're now talking 40, 60, 70 miles away using this radio or any other GMRS radio. So as a quick overview, Menu. you're going to actually want to go and make sure that your shift direction is in a positive offset if you're in the ultra high frequency range. This goes for GMRS or for ham. And make sure that your offset is at 005000. Now, once you go into other frequencies, such as 144.4, you're going to have a different offset of 0 0.6. And you enter it in the same Menu. way. You just type in 0, 0, 0, 0.6. And you'll notice that it only drops a little over half a megahertz. To do that, you just click the offset frequency. And then confirm it. And you'll see there that I have 0 0.6 megahertz difference. So that way, if this was a UV5R, when transmitting on this, this would drop 0 0.6 megahertz, allowing you to, op to operate and access ham repeaters in your area. Since this is a GMRS radio, it'll always be plus 5 megahertz to access GMRS repeaters in the area.